your specific person manifestation has an appointed hour, but you get to choose when that is. And if you agree that love finds you easily and often, leave a thumbs up on this video. But this appointed hour is literally whatever you want it to be. I've made multiple videos in the past talking about how time has nothing to do with your manifestation. And even that idea that every manifestation has an appointed hour is actually a quote from Neville Goddard. And I've had a lot of people in coaching sessions ask me about that quote, thinking, well, if we're in control of time, right, and we can manifest instantaneously, why did Neville Goddard say that and what does that mean? And I want to use another quote or idea that Neville Goddard talks about that I really agree, agree with that basically confirms that your manifestation has an appointed hour, but it's whatever you want it to be. So Neville Goddard, when discussed or asked about time, and again, I would agree with this 100,000%, when he asked, how long is it going to take to manifest? He would mention that, but he would also mention or ask, it's going to be your beliefs. So how soon do you feel you can manifest your specific person or manifest whatever it is that you want? Whatever answer you are honestly giving that is your appointed hour, right? Because that's your belief in this current moment. So if it's something you perceive very easily or to be easily done, then your appointed hour is going to be very soon, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. But if it's something that you are perceiving to be very difficult, maybe it takes a year, maybe it takes two years, right? But it's less about what specific time it's at, because anytime you desire something, want something, or believe in something, an appointed hour is set in your belief, but it's not set in stone. You can change that just by assuming or believing in something different, because, and I'm pretty sure I even talked about this in another, in another video, but ask yourself, why do I feel it has to take such and such time to get my manifestation? And I even talk about this in idea of my workshop, How to Manifest Love by Any Date, because it's a way to get rid of time. Time doesn't, is, doesn't exist, you guys. You, you know it as much as I do. Time doesn't exist. We perceive it, we feel it, but we can only ever experience anything in the right here and the right now. So your time, so the appointed hour is the time that you're setting yourself to then fully move from the state that we're in into the state that we want to be. In the same essence, and I've discussed this before, so hopefully this isn't a new concept for you, but if, you're, if you came here, this is your first video scene of me, I talk about what's called Parkinson's Law. So Parkinson's Law states, whatever amount of time you set aside for something is the amount of time it takes to do that thing. So again, that is a research, physical, scientific law that explains just what we talked about on whatever your belief is, is your appointed hour, and you will manifest and receive that thing based on whatever appointed hour you have set. So Again, love is finding you easily and effortlessly. You are able to change that, but ask yourself, why do I feel it needs to take a year? What is stopping me from that? And don't feel if you've heard other individuals say this, because this is basically the essence of this video and why I wanted to bring it up. Don't feel as if you can't have something until such and such time because a coach said that every, or because Neville Goddard said, every manifestation has an appointed hour and not to worry about it. Now, we'll say, if you like your appointed hour, if you like manifesting, you feel that your specific person's gonna show up to you next month, awesome, nothing, you don't have nothing, literally, you have nothing to do. If you like that date that you have set, there's nothing else that you need to do. That means you're in the state of it and you are going to achieve it by that time. 
And I use this example in the past to kind of maybe explain this a little more, but think of when in school you had a deadline for something. When did you do that thing? I'm Yeah, I'm looking at you. I know you did it the day before, right? Because I did too. And so it's like that is the essence of our deadline and the power of setting that deadline. But if a coach told you, uh, you have this appointed hour and it feels really far away, change it. That's all, that's all I have to say. You can change it. You can 1000% change it. Just go into those beliefs, rewrite them. Ask yourself, why can't it come tomorrow? Why can't it come next week? Why, what is stopping me from that? And you'll get really, really weird ideas and really weird responses of your internal beliefs as to why you can't do something. Because we never want to condition our manifestation, right? The more we say, I can't get blank until blank, I can't get my specific person until fill in the blank, and you can write whatever you want, that's a condition that we're setting on our desire. And if you want, I would actually write down, rewrite your conditions down below. If you feel I can't get blank until blank, I can't get my specific person until blank, write down, I can get my specific person even if I'm not in shape. I can get my specific person even if I don't have a house. I can get my specific person even if I'm not perfect. I can get my specific person even if I don't feel loved, right? Write whatever condition, like undo any condition you have on your specific person, on your desire below. Writing it down has such a huge impact. So whatever condition, yes, I'm looking at you, whatever condition you've set on your manifestation doesn't have to exist. I don't care what it is. I don't care. I, you can have your manifestation even if you don't live close to your specific person. You're in no contact. I can have my specific person even, however I worded it, I worded it better before, just write it down in that way. But even though you feel something's in your way, not that you could literally not tell me a circumstance or a condition that you set on your desire that can't be totally uprooted. Because most of the time, we think I need to be perfect for my specific person. And I was actually discussing in a coaching session today just on this idea of this individual. We worked through and basically came to this conclusion or this idea, which again, we we already know that you don't have to be perfect for your specific person and you can grow with your specific person. Who is stopping you from that? right? Who is stopping you from having awesome, amazing growth together? Don't you want to build the life that you want with your specific person? What's really the fun and being perfect and then showing up, right? You can't experience all the fun change and the fun growth that you can have together. And just switching that idea or that like reframing that concept can have a massive, massive effect in how quickly your manifestation shows up. Really, honestly, severely. Because when we lose our conditions, we're basically clearing the path to our manifestation. If conditions, if you were like on a trail going to your specific person or whatever manifestation you want, conditions would be things that are in your way, like logs that fall in it, rivers that run through it, right? But the funny thing is, those are all our own creation. You put the log there. You put the river there. You made the distance 20 miles when it could have been 20 feet, right? Or 20 meters, right? So in that case, it's really crazy and I know, again, try this out. Just start thinking. It's something to think about, something to implement and start to realize that your manifestation has this appointed hour, but you are picking it. And again, all of the circumstances or anything like that is totally up to you. Any conditions So write again, write it down below. I can get my specific person even if I'm not perfect. I can get my specific person even if we live far apart. I can get my specific person 
even if I'm not in shape, I'm not 20 pounds lighter, whatever it is that you feel is stopping you. And really, you will have, you probably have some weird, crazy, idiotic ideas like you need to get in massive shape or you need to make a million dollars a year to manifest your specific person. Your specific person doesn't care about that at all. They care about you and you doing what makes you loved and you happy. So never, ever forget that. So make sure to comment, undo any of those conditions down below. If you did have any questions on it, leave them down below as well. If you wanted to send me a personal question, head over to kyleaugustcoaching.com. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Thank you guys for commenting and getting rid of those limiting uh, conditions down below in the comments. And I can't wait to see you in the next video tomorrow.